Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. It's the end of October, which means it's time for my monthly Sonic collection update. The channel is getting really close to 100 subscribers, so before I begin, go ahead and click that subscribe button so you don't miss any more videos. Now having said that, I do have a lot of items to show off, so let's begin. Let's begin with the different plushes that I've come across. Everyone by now is probably familiar with the Toy Factory plushes from Dave & Buster's and other arcades. They measure about 10 or 11 inches tall. There are also a smaller version of the Sonic Shadow, Knuckles, and Tails plushes, which can be found in various claw machines. I have those right here. So we've got Sonic, we've got Shadow, we've got Knuckles, and we've got Tails. So I'd say these measure, I don't know, six, seven inches maybe? And, um, yeah, I mean, they're basically carbon copies of the 10 and 11 inch ones, but, uh, you know, different size, different plush, right? Next up, I have the Amy plush from the recent Jack Specific wave. This is the last plush that I was missing, and I happened to find it in Books A Million, and uh, she's going to look great with the other plushes in the collection. To round out the plushes, I have this mini Dr. Eggman here. This guy was found in one of the blind boxes in one of my merch adventures, which you can see up at the top here. I'm actually really glad to have found this because this was the only one I was missing. So as I've stated before, I really love Sonic watches. And this month I have five of them. Four of them came from Burlington and one of them came from Target. So the first one you're looking at here is a digital watch. It's got classic Sonic with a green hill background on the face. And it just has a classic Sonic pose on the band. The next one here is pretty cool. It says always running on the face with modern Sonic running. And it just has some modern Sonic sprites there on the band. This one's interesting as well. It's got modern Sonic. It's got kind of like a plastic head piece here. And it is a digital watch. And the band itself is not super exciting. It just has some blue dots on it. And finally, probably my favorite one this month is a touch LED watch, which I presume when you touch the screen, the time lights up. And it does have a kind of sticker bomb uh, watch band here, similar to the sticker bomb plush. I noticed that when you do actually tap on the screen here, it does actually light up. And you get the time, you get, oh, I guess you have regular time, military time, and uh, looks like a timer there. So, yeah, really cool watch. And finally, there's this interactive watch here from Target. Uh, it's basically, I think it's supposed to be similar to a smartwatch. It's got a camera, you know, alarm, pedometer, uh, I can take video, there's games on it. This is just a uh, new license packaging, I think. Now when a new wave of Jack Specific toys comes out, I race up and down the coastline to various targets to see how fast I can find them. Normally, it takes a very long time. And usually I end up finding them in the target that's furthest away from home. But that's okay, because I did find the recent wave of the articulated figures here. So we've got Sonic with his snowboard, We've got Metal Sonic with its trap spring. I've got Tails here with the Speed Shoe item box and Knuckles with his Master Emerald. And the only problem I have is I don't know where I'm going to put them. As you can see, the top shelf is full. So I really don't know where they're gonna go. So next up I have a bunch of different clothing items. Now unfortunately a lot of Sonic items are made for kids and you know, I'm no kid and I can't fit into a lot of these things, but I do keep them in the collection. So first up, I have something from Walmart here. It's kind of like a Sonic hoodie for kids. You can see it's got the spines here on the back representing Sonic's quills. And on the back, it has a pair of sweatpants with the Sonic logo on it with Sonic's face. On the front here, it just has Sonic's classic face. Now this is a pajama set from Walmart. It's got modern Sonic on the shirt, and it's got a bunch of modern Sonic heads on the pants in the back here. Now this set was actually found at Family Dollar. It's just classic Sonic here posing on the front with just a basic set of uh, sweatpants here. Shout out to Treasure Hunting Sonic on Twitter. He actually pointed out that a lot of these were at Family Dollar. So naturally I raced out to my nearest one and I found this set. Now there's been a lot of different types of boxer sets available at Walmart uh, as well as Target. Uh, usually they're just very like slight variations on each other, but each variation is its own design, right? So in this one, we've got uh, modern Sonic tails and knuckles here with the gold rings that reflect in the light. Uh, the back pair has a bunch of modern Sonic heads. 
And the middle pair is red with modern Sonic heads. Staying on the boxers trend, I have this five pack here from Walmart. Uh, I think this is available at Target as well. Uh, basically, it's just, I don't know, it's just a bunch of different boxers with different designs. Nothing too spectacular, but it's going in the collection. Now, this is the October update, right? I'm filming this on Halloween. I'm wearing my orange and black, right? I've got my Sonic tie on. But the real costume is right here. So, this is the Sonic costume. I think they made this in commemoration of the movie. Uh, I think it's supposed to represent the movie Sonic. I think this was actually available last year, but I didn't get it. This year I raced to Walmart earlier. Uh, I think I got this back in like the first day of October, actually. They had a couple on the shelf, so I picked mine up. Now one of the items that got me into Sonic collecting in the first place is the comics. Unfortunately, I've been really busy these past few months and I haven't been keeping up with the IDW comics as I should be. So I went ahead and I just scooped up a bunch of comics that I was missing from the past few months. Luckily, I was paying enough attention to know that during the New York Comic Con weekend, IDW was selling the convention exclusives of their covers. So, right here I've got the convention exclusive cover for issue 33 and the convention exclusive cover for the new Bad Guys series that features Dr. Starline and other various scripts. Speaking of the Bad Guys, I actually do have the B cover as well as the Retail A incentive cover here. I don't have the Retail B incentive cover, I'll maybe track that down at some point. I've got number 30, cover A and B, number 31, cover A and B, number 32, covers A and B, number 33, cover A and B. So yeah, I was really far behind. Uh, I actually do have the retail incentive cover for 33 as well. And I also happened to pick up the retail incentive cover for number 25. So another item I picked up is this face mask here from Spencer's. It features classic Sonic with some rings and it is a black and white checkered pattern. So it is washable, it's reusable, uh, obviously this is not a medical grade mask so it is for fashion only. Now from time to time I've talked about my kitchenware shelf and how full it is. Looking at it right now it's full of mugs, cups, uh, shot glasses, snacks, energy drinks, water bottles, all kinds of stuff. And there's really no more space on it at all. Even when that new G Fuel stuff came out I had no space on the shelf to put it. But that didn't stop me from getting this set of pint glasses here. So displayed here are classic Sonic, Tails, Knuckles, and Dr. Robotnik. Uh, I believe this is from Spencer's from some time ago. It does still have the original $24.99 price tag. It is from Stunt Mine. And I'm just glad to see how great the packaging has kept up over time. So I actually acquired a few bags across this month as well. The first one I'll show off is this one here. It is a small, uh, probably fake leather backpack here. It's from Walmart and it features these uh, seemingly nylon straps here. And it just has a little pouch here at the bottom. I mean, it's just a little mini backpack, meant for fashion probably. And it has a little uh, rubber sonic head on the zipper here. So next up, I have this insulated lunchbox from BioWorld. I picked this up at Books A Million while I was searching for that Amy plush. Uh, if we take a look inside, I don't think there's anything special, but uh, yeah, it's just gray and shows the insulation here. Uh, I don't ever plan on using it, so I'll never know how good that insulation really is. The last bag I have to show off is actually a backpack, and it's one I've been searching for for quite some time. So this is the Game Over backpack from Sprayground. You can see how it says Game Over there at the top. Uh, maybe. Yeah, there we go. Game Over. It's got the teeth here, and it's got the Sonic laying down here at the bottom where my thumb is. Now, the reason I have it in the bag is because it you may not be able to see it on camera. Well, maybe you can. It says blessed over and over, and the S's are dollar signs. And that was just way too meme-worthy to take off. Now, I've been wanting to get that backpack for a while, ever since I got this one here. Right there, the Green Hill one. And when I found out that there was another one, I knew I had to go find it. So one of the last items I have to show off here is, of course, the first four figures Sonic the Hedgehog Exclusive Edition. I made a video on that one. You can see that right up the top here. This is a great figure made by first four figures. It lights up. It's hand-painted. It's very well done. I highly recommend it to anyone who's able to get their hands on it. The last item I have to show off is probably the one I'm most excited about. It's this white star right here. 
As you can see, it's got the Sonic Movie logo on it, and it is quite thick, actually. It's just a plastic star, but it does light up. So it does change colors. It goes from red to green. I believe it cycles through blue, purple, and yellow as well. So I found this on Mercari. I didn't know what it was, and I did ask the seller for some background information on it. She told me that various managers at AMC Theaters were given this as a promotional item, and I had never seen this anywhere else. So let me know in the comments below if you've seen this anywhere. So that's all I've got for this month. Let me know in the comments below which item you like the most. As I said before, I'm making that push to get the channel to 100 subscribers before the end of the year. Let anyone you know who might be interested in seeing various Sonic merch about the channel. Be sure to like the video and subscribe yourself if you're new, and I'll see you in the next one.